Hey there everybody, Embrix here with a bunch of my mocks, but these are really old. I did like a video, just search Embrix play mocks if you want to see it, um, where I made the mocks that didn't look good and they were purely for play. So I was fine with that. I didn't even need it for display just so that I could get play value. These, I actually made two look good. And at the time I thought they did. I made these way back, like a long, long time ago. I know in my video I said like I made these six years ago, but it's a new year. I think I made these seven years ago. So just clearing some stuff out of the way. Um, that for last. Uh, let's just um, look at them individually then, one by one. But first, um, again, these are uh, going to be very nostalgic to me. But a lot of that nostalgia starts with this. The Lego Star Wars The Yoda Chronicles book. So six or seven years ago, oh sorry, five to seven years ago I believe, on May the 4th, my dad took me to a bookstore and he let me pick out anything Star Wars. I chose this, the Lego Star Wars The Yoda Chronicles. And it was when I was just getting into Lego, so you can imagine how nostalgic this is for me now that I have so much Lego, but came with that exclusive figure, which, oh my god, I didn't review that, I have to. But anyway, did come with this um, book, and I, I flipped through this book, and oh my god, I haven't done this for so long, but let's see it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a quick um, review on the book later on, not in this video, but here, let's start with this then. I saw this picture of that set right there with Luke, Obi-Wan, and C-3PO. So, um, my dad had just gotten me a bunch of pieces, and I made this. It's supposed to be that. <laughs> I know, the colors are so weird. Even, like, the plates at the bottom don't match up at all, but it's supposed to be that. So, move the book back. Here it is, in case you guys wanted to see my old bad mods. It's pretty long, I'd say, and uh, it's only four studs wide, but it still can fit two figures because they're two layers. Though, uh, at first I remember thinking I wanted two side-by-sides. By the way, Mega Bloks. So, um, let's talk about this. I do not buy fake Lego or Mega Bloks. Here's the thing. When you're a kid, like really young, you don't care. Like, like... I was so young that like at the time I used to take apart sets for pieces and stuff like that which is a strict rule now that I don't so I didn't know if I saw building blocks you know I just automatically thought Lego like that so I just built with them but anyway we got a windshield right there that was a place to hold a lightsaber I remember uh, these are sort of the side <laughs> mirrors and you can see uh, it's just so bad here's like implemented doors and then that tile designing which is just so weird so yeah, there's even some gapping there, but that's just I just want to share with you these old mocks, so that is one of them. And then, yeah, I took a lot of time with this book. Hmm. Here, this right here, uh, Zam Wessel's Speeder and Anakin and Obi-Wan's. I tried to recreate that. Yes, this I thought would be Zam Wessel's, and this would be Obi-Wan and Anakin's. <laughs> so yeah, there's the actual thing. Here's what I tried to build. This is Zap Missiles. That looks nothing like it. But anyway, I even used some studs, some one by twos, some weird pieces. Even, well, this is actually kind of smart that I used a tire rim piece up here. Kind of gives it a nice look. But honestly, I wasn't thinking when I placed the pieces down. Um, yeah, we got some grill effect right there. The back has, the bottom just has so many weird plates. Here's the steps, the side mirrors. Um, that's where Zam would sit, and then her gun. Uh, for more weapon accessories. I don't know why I use so many cheese slopes. This isn't on this side. This isn't on this side. Just a lot of funky and weird colors and pieces. So, that little speeder. The third speeder I made was Anakin and Obi-Wan's. Looks okay from the top, I guess, for my age, but <laughs> I used pink and purple on the bottom. I don't even know why, but here's what they'd use to step in. Anakin would sit here, Obi-Wan would sit here as the original panda, but I guess one would have to sit in the back. Here would be the driver, because I gave him that. Um, little engine boosters, so even a bit of blue there. Um, it's a nice and sloped, and you got that uh, see-through windscreen. So, And I believe um, that's it Like for stuff inspired off this book, but that is it for the sort of speeders, though I did make other stuff. 
I made this base and it actually is pretty nice dynamic shape. I had like built up at least like two bricks high, but I didn't like it. So I took it apart and thought one day I'd come back to it, but that never did end up happening. Here's the troop transport. <laughs> I'm missing a bunch of green bricks, like this colored green all the way through here. But when it did connect, I used to have like the Chima gun, you know, the Technic gun that when you push it, it shoots off. But um, yeah, here was the roof. I remember, I don't remember now, but there was some way where like some pieces disconnected. I don't know, not even by jumpers, but there's the bottom, the inside. Um, you got a bit of tiling and gap in there. That's because of lack of pieces. And yeah, so again, a lot of weird stuff that don't particularly look good. Now this stuff actually looks better than the others. Well, not this particularly, but on four wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's, it's, I don't know, it's something kind of shield related, I guess, the time I thought that. And um, it, it two seater and even an escape pod. Uh, this is intended to fly, the wings fold out and it can fly. And you can see just the space kind of in there and it's connected by two studs and this is weakly connected back here and, and it's actually pretty okay I guess just like using a tiny tiny base and I remember I showed this to my best friend Greek Bricks and by the way he is starting a gaming channel and uh, he didn't do it yet though I will show you that but anyway um, he told me that I should uh, do like ideas, you know, or whatever it was called at the time. Does anyone remember what it was called at the time? It was something really weird. Like when Wally -E was released, it wasn't called Lego Ideas yet. Mm, someone tell me in the comments down below. But anyway, that's that. <laughs> Pretty weird. Now this actually looks kind of good. Could be a poly bag, I'd say. Maybe back in 2012. But he has a fire. Uh, if it was a poly bag, I designed it to go with Nick Fury. It's just a little fly thing. You could sit here, some transparent pieces. Two little guns and a little top point. A prison cell. Me and Greek Bricks actually built this together. Yep, just for the tiny amount of pieces, we still built it together. But has some holes. Um, that's where you'd put the weapon, and they'd sort of sit there or something like that. I made this at Greek Bricks' house, and I traded um, all my gummy worms for the pieces because he has a bunch of pieces, and I just built this. It could be in a poly bag, I guess. Not really, but it was a power reactor. You know, you turn these down and activate a bomb. But yeah, the pieces are pretty cool. Um, only two things left. Wow. Here's the blue mountain. <laughs> so many weird colors here. Like this different blue, then a different blue within that blue. And just, ah, that silver right there. Even some pieces with um, studs at the side and technical. That's a different colored silver than these oh, held on plates. We used to do stop motion a lot back then, very bad, but we still did it. And this uh, would hold up my iPad, it would be my stand. Now I use an alarm clock, which I can't say is much better, but still. Um, we used it for that, and we used this as like, um, in our stop motion lore, we used it as like a terrorist base or something like that, their sort of cover. And now the last mock with me right now. It's very special to me. I remember. Okay. Uh, also with Greek bricks. Yeah, a lot of my memories uh, had him. But I built this on a base plate. A big base plate. And I used a lot of just regular blue bricks. This color blue, like 1x2, 1x4s, 2x3s, all that. But to make a, a, a long table that could... Um, seat 12 figures sort of like the government but this is a prison cell believe it or not that's sort of like extra an extra layer of security up top held very flimsily with, uh, with a lot of red bricks and some you know minifig stands it's green and then I used two blue panel pieces I'm just giving this thing a spin that kind of looks like president business's hair hmm but but then this just slides in it, as you saw, and this is probably the most nostalgic thing, and I have sworn in front of Greek bricks never to take this apart. Even when I move in the summer, I'm going to just carry this with me.
because this part I'm fine with taking it out because I know how to put it back in but it uses some plates it's it has um these sort of towel pieces and you know just stuff at the back to not let it hit much uh into the back of this but this is three layers of brick and you won't believe what's inside it's a minifigure my dad got me uh when i was really young um a fake lego minifigure okay it was a naked figure i don't even know why but it was so what we did is we attached the head to bricks or what i did in front of him i attached the head to bricks then built three layers of brick around it which is this in the middle of this is that figure and i'm sure a lot of you are really really curious to what that is but in the middle of this is the figure and maybe the reason i say this ridiculous number what if i get 1 million subscribers i will show it maybe but the reason i say that ridiculous 1 million uh, number is because i don't think i'll ever get there so i won't ever have to take it out but that's probably the most nostalgic thing here for me but yeah that is it for this video i hope you like this um look at just some of my very old and bad marks so you can kind of get a feel of what i uh built when i was a kid but that's it for this video hope you liked it please subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye